What is up YouTube, Zach Romero here. Today we have a challenge that I'm gonna have my oldest daughter help me with. She's gonna go pick three fishing lures for me to fish with. We're gonna go to Dick's Sporting Goods, let her have a little bit of freedom to pick out three lures and we'll see how it goes. <laughs> see you there. Take this moment to talk about the rules of this challenge. You can only pick three. I want to put no budget on it, but I'm scared to do that. It has to be freshwater lures designed for bass. I don't want any crappie jigs or saltwater lures or anything like that. I think you're gonna do one soft plastic, one hard bait, and maybe like a topwater bait or something like that. Before we go to Dick's, uh... Can we go to Chipotle? Yeah, I'm hungry. Cause Chipotle's life. Hi. Does this make you feel uncomfortable? Cause Chipotle's life. <laughs> Can we go to Dick's Sporting Goods now? Not yet. We got other plans. Like what? Crap. This is how I know I'm about to lose all my money. Cause my wife's gonna spend it all at Target. We already have a vacuum. It sucks. Yeah, all vacuums suck. <laughs> Chipotle got me like... Now I need to find the Pepto-Bismol. Please, for the love of God, help me. I'm leaving. And I'm never coming back. Fishing tackle. That's where we need to go. All right, here we are. We have some Guggen baits, which yeah. Charlotte might choose. More Guggens. We got some saucy swimmers, some jigs, some poppers, some crank baits, jerk baits, the frog. Ooh, this is your first one. Your soft plastic, the lunker log. All right, what are we looking over here? We got frogs, some swim baits. I think she's looking at these spiders, which I hope not, because that's gonna terrify me. What are you thinking, Charlotte? Show us, what do you pick out? Wow, a yellow spider. <laughs> uh oh, she's changing her mind. Let's see. What is that, a gray one? Let's see this. Phantom spider. All right, kiddo, you get one more. Mm. What are you thinking? I think I don't want the lunker logs. Oh, we're putting the lunker logs back. Okay. So you... I think we're putting back the spider. Oh, you can't make up your mind. Are we putting back both or just the spider? Just the spider. Just the spider, okay. This is all the salt water section, so that was against the rules. Is this the one you want? Mm -hmm. It's like a bubble gum and like almost like a June bug. That might work. I think you only need to get one soft plastic. So, <clears throat> a lipless crankbait. Is that what you're thinking? Okay. Are you changing your mind again? <laughs> What is that, a jerk bait? Mm -hmm. Let's see. Yeah. A little Rapala jerk bait. That'll be interesting. Oh, a frog. I'm not going to complain there. White frog, a walking frog. Charlotte finally made up her mind for the soft plastics. We went the, the Guggen baits, the Lunker log, which is the Cinco Green Pump. But then she has the Z Man uh, walking frog in white, which will be kind of interesting. I usually use black on my leg. Then we have this little chrome jerk bait. So I'm curious to see how that will work too. We're going to find some shaded area on the lake right now. The sun's still up kind of high. Uh, I say we have about two hours of fishing. I think I'm gonna work that jerk bait for a little bit. Then the lunker log, 
and then once it gets a little bit darker, hopefully get some top water bite with that frog. Let's see what we can do. Let's get it. I've only had a couple casts so far, nothing too crazy, maybe five minutes of fishing or so. Um, but I do have a confession to make. I'm throwing around this jerk bait right now. Um, and I've never caught a fish on a hard jerk bait before. I've caught one on a fluke, like a soft jerk bait, but never on a hard jerk bait. So this is definitely gonna be a challenge for me. I'm kind of thinking about putting the jerk bait down and throwing the lunker log. We're gonna throw the lunker log over by Lucky Log, just cause I know I can catch a fish on that pretty quickly. Maybe get the confidence up a little bit. I might be working it too fast. Like I said, I've never really thrown a jerk bait, so I don't, I don't know what I'm doing. I think we'll catch something pretty quick with this. At least get the confidence up. Maybe catch something with that jerk bait. We'll see. Lunk log or by lucky log. Definitely got the confidence up. Nothing major, a little under one pound. Hey, it's the first fish though, that's what we needed. There we go, baby. Confidence booster, that's for sure. Our first cast caught a fish. Um, so, you know, usually I'd like to throw, wait a little bit later to start throwing the frog around, but give it a shot. I've caught them all different types of days, so this is the first time I've ever thrown a white frog, so we'll see how it goes, but here we go. First cat. Let's do it. Moving spots again. Uh, I've gotten some frog bites over here, but not many, so I'm going over to a spot where I definitely have some luck with some frogs. Uh, still not too far into it, so I mean, I, st I still think we, we can complete this challenge. I think the jerk bait's still gonna be the hardest thing to, to complete, but we got this confidence, right? Confidence. Hey, there's a swan behind you. Quit staring at me, swan. Comment below if you know a movie that's from. And if you do, we can be friends. I'm frustrated because a buzz bait would be awesome right now. And I'm over here throwing this white frog. Maybe if I work it faster, just like a buzz bait. Oh, no! <gasps> well, I worked it faster like a buzz bait and we got a bite, as you saw. Oh! Um, so I'm just gonna work a little bit faster. Maybe it's just all this wind up here. Just, they, it's harder to see it moving as slow as I was. So I'm just gonna kind of be buzzing it across the water. He didn't commit to that frog, unfortunately. Um, it could have been something I did, but it did. From what I saw, because I could see the fish kind of grab it, it just didn't look like he grabbed the whole thing in his mouth. Miss that frog bite there. Um, we're kind of go back to this dock that I was just throwing the frog at. Um, I'm gonna throw this jerk bait around over by that dock just a little bit. See if we have some luck. I feel like it's a good spot to throw it. Um, if not, we're gonna go somewhere else where I think we can get some more frog bites. Hopefully, we can knock out this challenge. We got a fright. Uh, we got a bite with the frog at least, so that's a good sign. Fish are actually attracted to this. It's like a, a mating ritual for them. Trust me, I know. Oh. Alright, time to throw this frog. <sighs> we just heard a big blow up right here in this grass, like where you can't even get to. Right here. Oh, 
that was actually entirely my fault. He committed to it. I took too long to set the hook. I was completely startled by that. I did not think that was going to happen at all. There it is. There it is. Oh, he's still on. He's still on. He's little. No! And that is what's hard about being a fisherman. Ah, okay. Well. So, by the way, it doesn't count to catch fish unless you get him on the boat, you touch the fish. So, I did not catch that fish, unfortunately. The good news is, I know they'll bite this white frog, though which was my biggest concern. Once again, that was my fault. The hook set was terrible. I thought I lost him, so I quit reeling, gave him a bunch of slack. I think that's when the hook got loose. Um, that's one thing with frog fishing to keep in mind too, is the hook set on this is not your normal, just kind of lean into it. You gotta, you gotta power set that hook. Um, there we go. There we go. That's a better one. That's a better one. See him. See him. See him. Thank God. <laughs> right in that same spot. Not a big fish. Definitely smaller than the one I caught on the uh, that lunker log. We gonna stole the lunk log over by Lucky Log. Yeah, but I got him. Thank God. So that's two down. One on the frog, one on the lunker log. Now it's just that jerk bait. We got maybe an hour or so, hour and a half left. We'll see how it goes. Give him a little Lake Fork guy sniff. Oh yeah, baby. Let him go. Go get bigger for me, please. Woo! That felt good. One more bait. So because I've gotten two bites uh, back to back with the frog right here, um, it kind of shows me that they're eating moving baits. Um, so I'm going to try to throw the jerk bait back in here. Um, the only thing that's worrying me about it is with the jerk bait, you got these exposed treble hooks on there. And as you can see, there's a ton of sticks. So there's a good chance we can get snagged. But I know there's fish here. They might be stacked up. And if that's the case, then we might be able to end this challenge right now in the same area. So let's give her a dangle. Let's give it a shot. We threw a couple casts in the sticks. Um, yeah, we're getting, picking up a lot of just bark and grass at the bottom, kind of getting snagged on the sticks. So um, I'm gonna take take us to a new spot down here where there's some laydowns. Um, try to maybe get some reaction bites off that log. That's my only idea right now. I really want to catch some more fish and hopefully a big one. <laughs> tree pounder! Challenge completed! This tree, there's a fish there. That's not where I wanted to go, but there might be a fish there too. Oh, I'm getting bit, I'm getting bit. Nope. Well, let's try it again. I definitely got a, a thump though. Right, that's a fish, that's a fish, that's a fish, that's a fish. Oh my gosh. Y'all, challenge freaking completed. My first jerkbait fish. Easy, stay calm, stay calm, good boy, good boy. Hey, that's that jerkbait fish right there right under that lay down. That's three caught in, what, an hour and a half? This first challenge completed. Yes. Let's let this baby go. Woo! Remember, like this video, subscribe, comment down below. If you wanna see more content, let me know what you wanna see and we will get it done. Thanks for watching. See ya.
Uh, I don't know.